Good morning once again. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a long morning and we are almost approaching the tail end of the show. But we can't close the show before we celebrate one amazing woman with us uh, over here. We have Sandra, who's the chef or the owner of Sandy. I'm forgetting the name, but she'll tell us about uh, her company where she deals with uh, food. So, Karibu Sana, Sandra. Thank you. Tell us your name and what you do. Um, my name is Sarah Sandra. I'm a self-taught chef mm -hmm. and uh, owner, owner and founder of Sandy Bunny's Delicacies. Sandy Bunny's Delicacy, that was the name I was looking for. Yeah. Sounds yummy. <laughs> what, what, tell us about Sandy Bunny Delicacy before we get to the story behind it. So what is Sandy Bunny Delicacy for someone who doesn't know? Sandy Bunny's Delicacies. Sandy Bunny's Delicacies is an online business whereby I get to cook for people. Mm -hmm. um, they call me cook for them. I also do catering services. I do meal plants. I also cook uh, during tour, tours where people get to call me when they have tours. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, basically just cooking. Okay, yeah. it sounds interesting. When yeah. you, you, you bring up the aspect of online, you know, it's an online business, yes. yet it's you know, about cooking. Someone might wonder how, how is it, you know, cooking, you know, associated with online? Is it that you market it online and then you do it? Ama, how does it come about? Yes, I market it online mm -hmm. through Instagram, WhatsApp. So I'm a, uh, people get to call me. Mm -hmm. Then I go cook for them. I don't have a physical, a physical shop. Job. Yeah. Okay. And how's that? How's that working for you so far? Going to cook. Would you want to have your own restaurant? Um, uh, that's working for you very well. Having my own restaurant. That's a goal, a future goal. But for now, it's. I like it this way because I get to travel to different places. Mm -hmm. I've been to so many places. In just one year, I've traveled to different places with tour companies, and it also saves a lot mm -hmm. because I don't have to use so much resources. Okay, yeah. they see you're you're clearly you know proud of your business. The top there uh, written Sandy Sandy Bunny's delicacy. Yes. All right. So you've said the online. Uh, bit of it helps you save money but you want to have a restaurant in future and you've uh, also traveled the world with tour companies so you said in your bio i read you are uh, an overlanding chef with tour companies yes. so how far have you gone with the tour companies well i haven't reached outside kenya yet but i've just been around mm -hmm. kenya been to samburu masai mara uh, Boseli, different parks in Kenya, mm -hmm. and my goal is to start going international. Wow, must be nice. I mean, uh, doing what you love and traveling the world at the same time. Did you ever envision this when you know when you were thinking about being a chef? If at all, it was a dream for you to to be a chef. Well, all this is just planned from God because I didn't envision my business to get here because I started by hawking food and one day I just got called we need you to come and cook for us in a we are going to Samburu and I said okay wow. I can try it. Tell us, tell us about that journey from where you started because uh, I'm getting that you started hawking so how how did you start take us from the very beginning even the conception of the idea to start cooking and being a chef well, uh, starting this business, basically, I just wanted to get the money. It was a form of survival. And I said, ah, let me do what I can do, what I do best, that's cooking. So I started by hawking food. I used to pack food in packages, then just sell blindly to people. Who did you sell to? Business owners, people on the street? People in the streets, business owners, uh, students. Mm -hmm. Just I used to put the food in a bucket ah. and sell. Then I started selling eggs into mm -hmm. my eyes. 
and so am I. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. How, how, you, how do you feel now that, you know, looking back from where you came from and now, you know, traveling the, you know, the, the world in future, yes? You're traveling Kenya now with two companies. Looking back, how do you feel about it? I feel so proud of myself. Mm -hmm. In a span of one year, I've really done a lot. And I'm looking forward to growing more and more. What keeps you motivated? My kid. Your kid, wow. Yes. <laughs> mothers are, a mother's just the best. Yes. You want to, to make sure that you have the, is it a she or he? It's a she, her name is Crystal. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, she, she should know, you know, the accent that you're going just to make her, to, to create a future for her. And my mother too, she was a chef, but she passed in 2016. So I want to continue Sorry. the legacy. Mm. Because she also had a restaurant, and I want to make it a reality for her, even though she's not here. Wow, she she must be so proud of you where she is. Yeah. I mean, you're doing great great things. You didn't see yourself getting to where you are now, yeah? yeah. And where do you now see yourself from where you're standing, from the things that you've managed to accomplish so far? Where do you see yourself in future? What is your vision? My vision. First, I want to be an inspiration to people out there who this, they think that they'll not get there. Um, I want to assure them that they will get there because my story, I have a very long story that even if I start saying now, I will not, will not get time. And I see myself as a very renowned chef. Mm -hmm. I want my company to grow, to grow into, I want to have a very big restaurant. and be a big name in the overlanding world. Wow. Yes. Amen to that. I, I mean, I can already see, see you, you know, getting to where you, you want to be. Uh, before you t talk to us about of an over, uh, being an overlanding chef, for those that don't understand, take us through your journey. You've said you, ha you have a story. Maybe it'll inspire someone. Just not the whole story, bits of your story. Uh, yeah, for time's sake. Okay. <laughs> for someone who wants to know. Okay, my, my story. Uh, mm. I'm an orphan and I have a kid and through ever since in 2017 my life has been a journey because mm -hmm. I'm a survivor. Uh, I, try, uh, I had five suicide attempts because I was just tired with life wow. but I had, I had a vision. God told me that I've prepared a lot of things for you. You want to miss everything. So since then, I've been trying to, to work hard and move closer to God. And also through this journey, I had people who helped me through the journey. My aunt, her name is Malesi. And mm -hmm. my friend, his name is Andrew Kimani. And a lot of people who helped me in this journey. I didn't work alone. I'm happy that one thing I'm happy is God gave me good friends wow. to help me through this journey. And reaching here, it's, let me just say, it's a blessing because wow. I didn't see myself get here. It's like a new life. Yeah, even coming here is a blessing. Amazing. You yeah. see, ha what God can do, I'm almost getting into preaching and it's so moving yeah. that fro God saved you from five suicide attempts. And this was because you had given up on life, things yeah. were not working for you. Did you have a baby then? Yes. Mm -hmm. In 2017. <coughs> 2017? Yeah. I also, worked, I also worked as a household mm -hmm. for my friend. Her name is Mama, Mama Brooklyn. She helped me through and even told me that this is not your line of work. Yeah. You, are, you are destined for greater things and I'm so happy for her. And my aunt, her name is Jackie too. She also helped me through. Like if I start mentioning people. There's so many people and yeah. I'm just hearing <coughs> uh, names of women. And these are the people that we are celebrating today. Yes. Yeah, that's the strength of a woman who are celebrating you. What are the names that you've mentioned? Uh, Prudence. Jacqueline. Uh -huh. Jacqueline Akini. Uh, Malesi. Mm -hmm. My aunt, her name is Malesi. Okay. And my aunt, her name is Liliana Teno. Wow. Yeah, Mama Brooklyn. We are celebrating <laughs> all the names that she's mentioning, even those that you haven't mentioned but have been with you through the journey. We definitely celebrate them. Because see, look at you now. Look at you now. What would you say to someone who's 
going through what you went through, you know, looking back in 2017, yeah. that you wanted to give up on life because things were not uh, going your way or things were not just working out, what would you say to them to encourage them? Uh, what I like to tell the people struggling out there is just go to God and tell him all your, all your troubles because no giant is greater than God and he'll, there, he'll be there for you and be focused, have a plan in life and have big dreams because a dream will make you focused in what you want. Mm -hmm. yes. And you started very, f you, you started small and it didn't define you because you started as a house help. You also, are f you hooked food and yeah. uh, now you are doing great. Yeah. So tell us about being an overlanding chef. What does it entail for someone who doesn't know what it? An overlanding chef is, you get to travel to many places and cook on site, like cook in the forest. Mm. It's not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> it has its own challenges. It has many challenges, but mm. <coughs> it's full of adventures. Okay, so you love the adventure bit of it, but now the what? What are some of the challenges apart from you know cooking in the forest? You don't know what what animal will pop in. <laughs> what are some of the other challenges that <coughs> you have encountered? Uh, challenges I've encountered is weather. The weather has been so has been the greatest challenge. Uh -huh. Yeah, and what else can I say? Just a lot of challenges. And what about when you started the business? Did it just uh, peak uh, immediately? Now, after someone, you said uh, someone invited you to cook in Samburu. Yes. Did it now just peak from there, or was it a journey? Was it a process to where you are? It was a process because I, I wasn't aware. I just started go doing the business blindly because I didn't know the pros and cons of the job. Mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, during uh, some the calculations of foodstuffs and everything, mm -hmm. uh, but I get to I got to learn from my friend. He's an overland chef. His name is Remax Raymond Mwangi. He helped me through the journey mm -hmm. because I can say I really learned a lot from him. And he's the one who has guided me through, and mm -hmm. yeah. What are, and then so what are some of the things for someone who uh, wants to get in the same line of duty? What are mm -hmm. some of the things you wish you knew uh, before you started the business? Uh, because in the tour companies, not all are genuine, mm -hmm. so you have to know you have to know the in and outs of the people you're going to work with, because you work with someone and they end up not paying you later on and also study the people that you're going to work with, the clients, because people have dietary issues. And yeah, study also the place that you're going to cook from so that you can know if the area is a rainy area mm -hmm. or he, the, uh, high heat, yeah, something okay. like that. Yeah. And uh, I also know that you didn't study for uh, the profession that you're in, but now you're, you're a chef. Yes. So uh, how does it work for someone who also wants to be a chef? Does someone have to go to school? Would you advise someone to go to school or to just pursue their dream? Well, I can say uh, if you have the passion and the, the zeal, mm -hmm. yes, you have to go to school. But for, for me, I did a short course in Frontline Institute. It's in Nandani, mm -hmm. a short course just to familiarize with the Gomez, different Gomez, also for the papers. Ah. But I think cooking is is inborn. It's like a talent, let me say talent. <laughs> because <laughs> you can go to school and yet you somebody who hasn't gone to school will cook better than you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think just creativity. Cooking is a is an art. It's an art. It's an art. So mm -hmm. creativity should be in there. Yes. So this is, a, would you say this is a profession that parents r should also consider to, uh, you know, t to help their children get into because parents mostly look into their white collar jobs. Is being a chef, uh, you know, a good job? Of course, mm -hmm. because people, de people will depend on you to eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very important. Yes, <laughs> eating is very important and I can say it's a very good business because uh, I get to work 
on, uh, mostly on weekends and I get to pay my bills and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good business. Food business is one of the leading businesses in, let me say, the world. And it really pays. Okay. I know I haven't reached there yet, but it really pays. It really pays. Yes. And people say you can never go wrong with food. Exactly. Yeah, so because we, people will not stop eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people who are a product, we eat to live. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we eat to live. We don't live. To, yeah, we eat to live. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your greatest wins from where you're sitting now? What are some of the things you can count as your wins so far? My wins. Well, joining the Overland World, mm -hmm. that's a really great win. And getting to know different people through my work, mm -hmm. getting to know, to go to places through my work. And I can say I've gone to school. I wanted to go to school. I've gone to school, mm -hmm. even though it's just a short course, but I'm hoping to to go to study more about this job. Mm -hmm. um, and my greatest twin is my life changing from where it was. That's my greatest twin. Your life changing from where it was, amazing. Yeah. And it's truly a great win uh, mm -hmm. from even where I'm sitting now. And how can people get you just in case uh, someone wants to hire your services? Okay, um, in Instagram. Mm -hmm. Sandy Bunny's delicacies mm -hmm. and just a phone call, ju just a phone call away. <laughs> okay, so it's only on Instagram. Instagram, I, I'm also on YouTube, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it got Ili... Hakiwa. Not Ili Hakiwa, uh, copyright issues. I used someone's song in making a video. Okay. <laughs> so it was suspended. <coughs> so I'm setting a new one mm -hmm. very soon. Okay, so uh, in your YouTube, do you do vlogs as in do you uh, do the uh, tutorials? Yes. Yeah, cookery tutorials. Yes, yeah? and also the recipes I've invented, I show people out there so that they can try them out. I, mean, I wonder how people invent recipes. How do you come up? You know, and I know it's part of creativity. It's just about uh, building flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, adding just mixing up things just to get a certain flavor. And then you uh, give it a name. Exactly. <laughs> and then but uh, in giving it a name, you give it a name according to what you've put in the food. Okay. Not just getting a name. But you should also be creative about it. Okay. So g give us a name or two of the, some of the recipes that you've come come up with. Well, uh -huh, there are so many. <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday I made... I made chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, with, I tried mixing different sauces to come up with a variety of flavor, uh, a special flavor about it. I haven't given it a name yet, uh, but I know it's in. It will. Uh, I will come up with it because it's, uh -huh. yeah. So it comes from like uh, a name like <coughs> chicken curry, but you're not already yeah. in already. Yeah, you can't so use tandoori chicken because it's somebody's name, uh. but it's 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 just in that area, mm -hmm. but. Uh, the secret is neat is the sauce I made. Oh, yes. okay. That's so, uh -huh. yeah. And what would you say is unique about your business for compared to any other? What is unique about uh, Sandy Bunny's delicacies? Something unique about my business. I think my food is different from other people's. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll test my food. Mm -hmm. And you will test somebody. I'm not saying that other people can't cook well, but yeah. I just know my food is different from other people. From food. other people's food. Yeah, from what I've heard from other people, from people who have tested my food. Yes. I mean, I would like to to try it. I wish uh, we had something, you know, get cook up uh, something in here, and then I do the testing. No, just in the parts to na to na. For a younger, you know, <laughs> as journalists, to now on and then we say, ah, this is good, you know, to not, to not, then yeah. But anyway, let's hope for next time. Next time, yes. hopefully, you will come and uh, cook something up for us. Yes. Yeah. So now, um, did you? Uh, I'm asking you again this. When you were a kid, did mm -hmm. you see yourself becoming a chef, or was it a dream that you realized uh, when you were already grown up after your mom passed on, or when? When exactly did you know? Growing up, I wanted to be an artist, 
drawing artist. Drawing. Ah, yeah. so it, artist trained or you go to Kwadamu. Either yeah. way, whether whether this or any other, it's just art. Uh -huh. uh, plus, I come from a family of chefs. Like, mm. Yes. Uh, my family is also based in art because some are chefs, some are singers. So it's uh -huh. either you either be a chef or you either sing. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, on cooking, it's it's a recent recent passion. Mm -hmm. The since growing up, also I tried cooking because of my mom. She always cooked like all the time till she opened up the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So that's where I got the inspiration from. Okay. Yes. So would you say that your daughter is also coming up in the same line? You Acod know, in the family. To <laughs> According to uh, how she behaves when I'm cooking, yeah, I think so. Ikondani. Yeah. family. Yeah. I wish I could tap into that, but I, I can cook, I can cook, but <laughs> <laughs> on a professional level, well, we are slowly getting there. Yeah. Get there very soon. <laughs> okay, uh, so I, I, let me just read some of the responses that we have on today's question before we sign out. And we had asked you, what are some of the ways that uh, you think people can uh, manage competition, can have healthy competition? And uh, some of the comments that we have here, let me take a look at what you guys are saying. Uh, boy, boy, boy child, Mavella, Anasama, Haina, Pride, Deno Flint, Anauliza, is she single? Hmm, who? Ken Nanga, Anasama, Sinama, Winnie. Well, uh, DJ Profi, Anasema, good morning, good morning to you. Uh, Ni Imudos, Anasema, 0 0.01. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We have so many people there. Mathematics, Mathematics, uh, Mathematics, OPEC. And uh, most of it, Ni Watua OPEC, Wana Wanonga. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for participating in the conversation. Feel free to continue. Uh, the channel is Y254. That's where you can continue the conversation. And the hashtag is WCW. And uh, here on, in studio, we have been talking to Sandra uh, to Sandra Bunnies. Sandy, Sandy Bunnies. Bunnies. Sorry, we have been talking to Sandy Bunnies. Uh, uh, I think I the mm -hmm. spellings, the name, or you can just get me through my number. Yeah, or, or your number. You, do, you, do you want to share your number? Yes. Okay, you can. This is your camera. Say where people can get you once again. Okay, you can get me through Instagram, Sandy Bunnies Delicacies. Bunny with a B U R N I E S. Mm -hmm. Sandy Bunnies Delicacies. S A N D I E B U R N I E S. Delicacies. And my number. Give me those m food monies. <laughs> 07 68 19 53 50. Okay. Sandy has said how food is different. It's unique. Yeah. It has a different taste. A burst of flavor in your mouth. A burst of flavor in your mouth. Ah, I mean, who can resist that? Well, somehow they bring all their monies, yeah? They bring your food money. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Sandra, for sharing your story with us. Yeah. And uh, I believe you've encouraged someone uh, there who wants to be a chef or someone who is giving up on something. And that's why we celebrate you today because you never gave up and you are where you are today because uh, you took the first step and you are here. But uh, before we close, I just want to, uh, to ask you something. Uh, people will say that use what you have to, the saying, use what you have to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Would you say this has been true in your life? Exactly, because mm. cooking is, uh, it has really taken me far. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you've used your skills to get to where you are now. Exactly. All right. So if there's something one should take from this conversation, what would that be? This is your camera again, your closing remark. Uh -huh. What should I say? Okay. Uh, Use what you have to get what you want. <laughs> <laughs> and just believe in God that mm -hmm. he will get you to where you want. And still lazima ufanya kitu nye mtu anafanya to make it. Just believe in yourself and yeah, believe in yourself. For workout. Thank you very much. And have much. big dreams too. 
and have big dreams. Okay, yeah. I'm taking that home with me. That has been uh, Sandy Bunny's Delicacy. That is the company uh, by Sarah Sandra, who's a self-taught chef running an online business and also an overlanding chef with tour companies. She has been sharing with us her journey in her, in this line of duty. If you are, if you want to be a chef, I hope you have been encouraged by this or something from her story has encouraged you. Well. Now it's time for us to bid you goodbye because it's that time where we wrap up the show. And on behalf of Sakwa and the team behind, uh, behind this uh, production, we thank you for tuning in and staying with us. It's always a pleasure having you with us. You can still continue with the conversation uh, on Y254 channel across all social media handles using the hashtag WCW or Y in the morning. My personal handle is at Stephanie Ayeta. Have a great day ahead. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. Y254. Imagine.